guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And uh, today we're going to check out my very first order from Blade HQ. Uh, as you know, I'm not really much of a knife channel. We've got a few knives that we featured, you know, here and there, but that's not really the exclusive content that we do. So I'm not very knowledgeable on knives. And so the other night, when I misplaced my trusty Kershaw EDC and could not for the life of me find it anywhere, it did eventually show up a few days later. I did what any person would do. I reached out to a good friend of mine, uh, Gizzard Gary, and I said, Gizzard, I said, I lost my EDC. I said, I want to order something quick. I want to spend under 100 bucks. What do you recommend? And Gizzard recommended to me what I'm about to show you right here. First of all, I will put a link for Gizzard's channel's affiliate link for Blade HQ in the description box of the video. Guys, get down there and check it out. Gary, thank you for your recommendation. I'm very excited to show everybody what I bought for today. Uh, the last thing I want to say is make sure you guys check out AegisGunCare.com. I've got a link down below that you can use to save 10% off your order. Uh, you can also pick up the finest gun care products anywhere. So head on over to AegisGunCare.com and or use my affiliate link down below. You'll save 10% off and you can help the channel okay I'm pretty excited for this uh, I'm gonna tell you right now it is an out of an automatic out the front knife I have only bought one other one before it was actually a small one that I picked up for my uh, at the time wife at the uh, one maker gun show never actually had one for myself so this will be my first out of automatic out the front knife so here we go let's go ahead and check it out paid $59.99 uh, shipping was only $4.99 it does come packaged really well with some little packing peanuts we can reuse those and the knife is right here all right so what we have here everybody is the AKC F20 D A OTF out the front automatic knife with an OD green finish uh, 3.6 inch uh, satin finished blade and we'll take you through more of the specifications more of the specifications here in just a moment there we go. All right, what's cool about it, it does have like a skateboard tape inlay, which is really, really nice. All right, the finish looks pretty good right now. Got a decent belt clip on it. A little bit of oil on it, finishing oil on it. All right, so a few little specifications taken from the uh, Blade HQ website. What do you need to know? Uh, satin satin finish spear point blade made from 440 A stainless steel. We'll test that out here in just a moment. Um, thumb slide with jimping for automatic opening and closing. We'll let you know what the uh, tension feels like in that button. And let's see, OD green coated aluminum with a sandpaper inlay. So basically an aluminum body going on here. Stainless steel tip down pocket clip. And it says it is a lightweight mid-size OTF automatic knife from the Italian company AKC. And we're going to check out the blade sharpness and just see how it is. Maybe attempt to do a paper cut uh, with this. I'm terrible with that in these uh, videos. But anyway, uh, yeah, so right now in the hand, ergonomic, I've got medium-sized hands. I can get a nice full grip around it. That's good. And I'm going to have to be really careful with this. It's my first, you know, like I said, personal automatic out the front knife. Let's go and test out the action on it. Ooh, that is cool. Oh, so mine does not. I forgot. Yeah, I got the one that's got the uh, the black finish on the blade. It is the same material, though. It's at 440A stainless, but uh, mine does have the black coating on it. I was going to get the full stainless one, but it was actually sold out at the time, which is totally cool with me. I like this one. It's a little more tactical looking. That is so sweet. All right, it's going retracted. The button has got pretty good tension on it. It does take a decent amount of force to actuate, which is what you want. You want something that's going to be safe. There you go. Oh, man, that is so cool. I like it. I like it. It really does open and close with authority. Uh, remember, if these would ever happen to get locked, or if you happen to push, if you happen to push this in front of something, when you push the button and it would uh, eject and not fully, uh, you know, come out all the way, you can just pull on the blade a little bit and let go, and that'll reset it. So if you ever happen to like try to punch through paper with it or something, or say it accidentally goes off for some reason and stops before it opens completely, you can just pull the blade all the way out to reset it. I'm not going to simulate that here. I don't want to take any chances with it. But uh, that's where we are. All right, let's go and check out the uh, blade sharpness just overall. First of all, the blade feels pretty solid. You have a little bit of play in there, but not much, to be honest with you. It feels pretty rugged. It's decent. Yeah, just a little tiny bit of wiggle, which I've been told is acceptable for an OTF blade. All right, sharpness on it. Feels almost like razor sharp. It does grab my skin pretty well on it. Let's go ahead and just do a little, little shave test here. Yeah, it takes the hair right off my hand. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's go and grab a piece of paper and try the uh, paper cut test, which I am not very good at. Now, I have been told that this will take an edge rather nicely. I do have a nice um, automatic uh, knife sharpener that I can use on it, a nice automated one that works really well. So I'm looking forward to uh, putting more of an edge on it once I wear it down the first time. But it is plenty sharp from the factory. Not a problem at all. Okay, paper test. 
Yeah, not bad. Wow, I generally suck at this. I don't know why. I can't ever seem to get the angle right, but if you just kind of barely slice into it, it just cuts right through it. Nice, clean, crisp. So this is pretty cool. So this is the uh, AKC Italian-made F20 out the front knife for Blade HQ. I was looking at videos on these, and they were $39.95 at a few other websites when they first came out. Look around. You might be able to find some better prices on them. It's got the uh, AKC logo on it. Now, the blade is marked uh, 440A. Not sure if you guys can see that at all. In fact, i got my reading glasses on right now. And it does say F20 on the blade, and that's it. But, uh, yeah, it's decent. So they do make these with a variety of different colors. You can get brighter colors like yellow or orange if you want something a little more visible. They make it in camo. They make it in black. Uh, they do have some that have, like, a fake carbon fiber inlay. I prefer the sandpaper. I want something that's going to be kind of grippy because overall it is fairly smooth. And this is basically going to be the EDC that I use uh, when I'm out walking the dog because, you know, mobility could be an issue if you've got one hand occupied and you need to just simply pull the knife out and retract it. This makes it very, very simple. Now, again, just as a uh, contrast, my Kershaw uses the wave deployment system, which will catch itself on the back of your pocket as you pull it out, and that causes it to open up. So there's no spring assist or anything like that with it, which I like this, and this is great, but I just like the idea that I can pull this back if I need to, and especially if you have limited uh, space to operate with, this just makes it much more uh, easy to access. So very cool. So Gary, Gizzard Gary, thank you so much for the recommendation. I'm pretty excited to uh, break this one in, so we're going to test it out and see what we think about it. But guys, uh, if you like what you see, make sure that you like and subscribe. Uh, check out that affiliate link for Gary's channel. Go ahead and show him some love. Head on over to Aegis Gun Care. Pick yourself up some gun cleaning supplies, and you will be set. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, plenty of content coming your way and plenty of content on the channel for you to check out. So in the meantime, I want you guys to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. Uh, mash that bell, like, and subscribe. Y'all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.